Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room modes. We, we all know uh, the term, we've heard it before, but what is a mode? It's uh, something that's both heard and felt. And let, let's break it down a little bit and you, you can understand. Modes are all about air excitation. You got molecular velocity. The air is moving because too much energy, too small of a space. Too long of a wave, won't fit. So it expresses its discontent, if you will, through air movement, molecular velocity, getting things moving. So you have to uh, keep that in mind that a mode is just a bunch of energy that's not happy where it is physically, won't fit. So where do we have it? We have height, width, and length in all three of our axes that we work with in acoustics. The average bandwidth of most of these modes that we deal with in small room acoustics is 5 to 10 cycles. So you try to minimize the grouping of them, keep them less than 5. Helps with frequency response and definitely helps with treatment and cost. So most of these modes occur in small room acoustics in the frequency range from 20 cycles to 300 cycles. Why? We take a 300 wave, we take the speed of sound divided by 300. You can see that, what do we got, 3.5 feet, see? So plenty of distance for 3.5 foot wavelength to live in the room without causing any problems. So 20 cycle waves, completely different story, 50, 60 foot long uh, energy. So we have to try to figure out how to deal with that too. So we have uh, this range here. So what we have to realize is that low frequency is felt and higher frequency, above 100 cycles, is, if you will, uh, heard. So bone conductance is the methodology we use with low frequencies. Our skeletal systems are actually our ears. And then we use our ears uh, to hear the higher frequencies because our antenna or uh, structure is more conducive to that. So room modes are air moving in a particular space defined by a particular bandwidth okay felt and both heard and occurs we have to realize where it occurs so we have three axes in our room we have ceiling to floor we have sidewall to sidewall and we have front wall to rear wall you could say three sound fields basically so in north america which is the area we work mostly in our ceiling heights are eight foot well that couldn't be a worse dimension so if we take eight feet okay and uh, divide it into uh, this, we're going to get one, so about 135 cycles, roughly. So at uh, eight foot, we have 135 cycle waves. So you can see that it's not going to take a lot of energy to cause problems with low dimensions. And this is why I constantly talk to people about try to find another room i know you guys get upset about that but you're really doing yourself a disservice because if you think about an eight foot ceiling height it's always going to be a problem through the whole room because it's just so low so enter any energy you know below 135 cycles is going to be a problem so you have to be really really careful with dimensions here so Room modes are both heard and felt, remember that, and it's the air that's moving. You can walk around your room when you're playing music and hear them, especially with lower frequencies. You can feel them also. So study your room, study how it works, and then you'll understand more about all the science and acoustics that you have to go with to uh, solve the problem. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today, and if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured, and I guarantee you your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.